And here is Eddie Cochran, his crazy guitar, and Teenage Heaven. Ray Edward Cochran, in my opinion, was one of the greatest, influential and most innovative musicians of the 1950s. His unique style of rock and roll music has been picked up on by many of the biggest bands and artists over the last 60 years. Names such as The Sex Pistols, The Who, Stray Cats, Led Zeppelin and many more have both recorded and performed Eddie's songs live. Just like I promised you, here he is back again, Eddie Cochran, one of America's top rock and rollers. Eddie? Eddie Cochran had a short but extremely fruitful life in terms of his recording and playing career. He was one of the first musicians to take the reins in the studio, developing many innovative studio engineering and production techniques, including slowing down the tape and recording an instrument so that it sounded a certain way when played at full speed. You can hear this on their records such as Summertime Blues, where he used this technique with a mandolin, an instrument he loved. His music reflected the boom of teenage life in 1950s America, with songs mirroring the culture of cool cars, romance, movies and angst. You can hear this on most of his recordings, on songs such as Sitting in the Balcony, Something Else, Weekend and Come On Everybody. The thing I love about Eddie Cochran is that he threw a curveball into his music, which gave it an intelligent and adult edge. He'd throw in words like congressman into his lyrics and even write about having a nervous breakdown in the song, well, nervous breakdown. Listen to the production on this record, it's so ahead of its sound with thundering bass and driving guitar. His record, Something Else, to me is the first true rock record with open hi-hats in the drums thrashing through the record and Eddie's gravelly vocals tearing up your ears before pulling back and saying in the coolest way. If James Dean good looks and incredible vocals weren't enough, this guy was one of the best and again innovative guitar players ever. Classically trained, Eddie would say, this rag and roll stuff's easy to play, but what he played wasn't standard by any means. His solos were from the future, but he also knew when to hold back and play only what was needed. You can see this when you watch him playing at the show, live at the town hall party. He's happy to just sit back in the groove and he's very rarely playing solos. But when he does go for it and plays a solo, you can see just how great this guy truly was. In 1960, Eddie along with Gene Vincent were brought over to the UK to tour and play TV dates and this tour became legendary. UK audiences had only really been used to seeing the homegrown stars play and trust me, a lot of these were great but getting to see the real authentic thing was pure magic. The performances were wild and the crowds were too. There was loads of booze drunk and fish and chips were eaten and of course lots of fun with the girls who absolutely worshipped the guys. In spite of all these great times, Eddie was very, very homesick and halfway through the tour he had planned to fly back home to the States. Unfortunately, the Ford console taxi taking him, Gene Vincent and Eddie's girlfriend crashed into a telegraph pole in Chippenham on the way to the airport. Gene had really bad injuries, but tragically, Eddie passed away of severe head injuries. He became a rock and roll icon and a true legend, especially over here in the UK. His music lives on and he continues to be a major influence on many, many artists. Long live rock and roll and long live Eddie Cochran.